Hi everyone, it's me Kim from Fragrancy Blog and as you can see it's night as here at the moment. So tonight I'm going to do a review of something I'm very excited about. Even though I already smelled it, I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. It's the Paper Passion uh, perfume and um, yes this smells like a brand new magazine. So for all my book and magazine lovers, please keep watching and thumbs up if you love the smell of paper. So I was quite lucky um, to get this one because this is quite hard to find. And um, I think it was two or one year ago, I was reading something online about this and it was in like some kind of you know, top 10 strangest scents list. I don't remember the website, but I do know that this one was in the list. And there was also a candle that uh, smells like a new, um, I think it was a new Apple product, if I'm correct. Anyway, um, I was completely uh, intrigued by it because I always loved the uh, smell of paper um, especially like a new a brand new magazine and you know I have this uh, catalog of H&M here on my table didn't do it on purpose just was here I don't like the scent of these types of magazines but um, my boyfriend had a subscription on the um, off-screen magazine and those kind of magazines smell really good like the more luxurious ones. Um, so you can imagine that I was attracted by this. And I was even more attracted by it until I found out that it was made by one of my favorite perfume noses, Mr. Gisha Shun. And he is also um, the perfume nose behind uh, Molecules 01. And also um, the Beautiful Mind series and a lot more scents. So, Paper Passion. I'm gonna talk about it right now. Maybe this is going to be quite a long review, but I just have to tell quite a lot about this. Um, oh yeah, there's a little story. Uh, because the day I bought this, I was into a press and print factory with my uh, students. And we uh, spent a whole day visiting two uh, factories in the Netherlands. And the whole day I was surrounded by the smell of paper. And that morning I reminded myself I need to buy a perfume that smells like paper. So um, on the bus back home I went on Facebook. And then someone in the Dutch fragrance community posted um, she wanted to get rid of some scents and this was in her list. So um, for those of you guys that know me, I don't really believe in like, um, I, don't, I don't know the English word for it, but anyway, I believe that this was meant for me. So I bought it and it came in yesterday. And um, I'm gonna tell you, Oh, it looks like this is the box it comes in it says paper passion perfume and here it says uh, stylo and wallpaper and wallpaper um, is a magazine and stylo is something German that is something with press and stuff uh, or maybe books sorry they didn't really do so much research um, it's like this is all cardboard um, when you open it you have like this book and it's the same as the uh, box that comes in and this is how it looks like um, this is my the size of my hand so you can imagine how big it is i think in europe we say a five size if I'm correct um, all the um, all the papers are red 
from the side so that's a very nice detail and yeah it just looks very clean i think this is a linen cover um feels very you know soft and when you open it um there's like a quote of Mr. Karl Lagerfeld and um, he said that this is the silent smell of paper. So that's a nice quote. Um, there are some like testimonials of uh, famous people that are into fragrance, uh, including a poem. Um, there's a little text of uh, Mr. Gun Gunther Gras and um, there's a little uh, text of Gita Schoon himself and a uh, text of Karl Lagerfeld because he also uh, participated in creating this um, yeah unique perfume product so now I'm gonna tell you everything about the scent because I know you guys are waiting for it. This is how it looks like. The scent is uh, hidden like a treasure into this book. And we just have to flip over all the pages to actually get the scent out of the book. And this is the bottle. It is, let me see, I'm not sure how many milliliters it is. It says it's made in France. Um, or made in England. Oh, the bottle is made in France. The scent is made in England. It's a 50 milliliter and it's an eau de toilette, I think. This, this can't be an eau de perfume. Um, and it says it's a perfume for book lovers, but everyone can love this, not book lovers only. Um, it has this typical way of applying through, uh, like more like a cologne way. If you know what I mean uh, you can't spray it or anything but you know I kind of like it um, it makes it even more unique and it's like more a collector's item but I'm definitely gonna wear this because it smells very similar to a perfume my boyfriend bought in Poland at the um, Lelua perfume store in Krakow and it's Iridium by Tom Dexon but it's not a dupe it's just those scents could have been, you know, brother and sister or something. Um, so, does it smell like paper? Yes, it does. And it also smells like ink. And I find it to be a very, 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 very good interpretation of paper in a scent because it's wearable. Um, I was reading online that Gita Shun. Um, tried 17 other compositions to create this typical paper perfume scent. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and this is the one that made it um, into the books. So, the first thing you smell is ink. Um, it's the same smell like when you... <sighs> How do I say this? When you get like, when you have a printer at home and you print just, uh, you know, a little black square and you immediately smell it after it's printed, this is how it smells. But, and I'm gonna apply it again. I've been wearing it yesterday night, so I can give you a good interpretation of how it smells um, when you apply it right away, but also when it's dried down. Um, yeah, it's very inky and uh, kind of sharp at the start, but it's, it fades quite easily and it develops into, you know, a more woody scent. Um, I saw in Fragantica that there are like only woody notes in this perfume. There's nothing specific um, to be found on the internet. Maybe it's a secret, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we all know that paper is made out of wood. So that's probably why Gisha Shun um, used woody notes to imitate the scent of paper. But I really liked the ink part um, and I'm not sure how he created it because I feel like there's some kind of secret note into this. 
Um, what's funny is the color of the sand because it's completely blank and I expected it to be more well my feet are sleeping um, I expected this sand to be more like dark for some reason but it's like it looks like water um, yeah and it's just it looks very minimalistic and the sand is also very minimalistic it's a typical geisha shun fragrance and um, yeah I just love this guy so much he yeah he's the creator of molecule so one so what else can I say everyone in the fragrance community kind of love this that one um, I personally love it for layering with other scents and I'm also gonna layer this with scents that maybe contain like um, a leather note or something i think it will smell very nice or something with coriander um, for example um, one of my favorite scents uh, comme de Carson 888 contains coriander i think it will be a very good combo um, but yeah it smells like paper um, didn't dis disappoint me at all um, and I was looking on YouTube for reviews about this, but I didn't find a single one. So maybe I'm the first one. I secretly hope I'm the first one. <laughs> um, yeah, I really recommend this one. And I'm pretty sure this will be worth a lot more money in the future. Because it's like a collector's item. Um, I got it for a ridiculous cheap price. Um, because so many... There are so many nice fragrance lovers in the Dutch YouTube community, but also on like Fragantica, that just sell their beloved niche fragrances for like, I don't know, a fraction of the original price, just for the sake of sharing. Um, but I found this one on eBay for like $90 or something, just so it's reasonable and you have a collector's item. Um, I also like the name, Paper Passion. Um, I always been into drawing and reading. So yeah, it's just, um, I just really like it. And um, to get uh, back to the um, Iridium scent that is kind of similar to this, that one smells like pencil sharpener. So if you combine those, you have pen and paper. How cool is that? Thank you for watching and um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out uh, my blog. Everything is linked below. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Have you smelled this? Do you want to smell this? Are you planning on buying this? Bye bye.